What up, my man and society? It is your host with the most, Shadow Loke, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you like. Make sure you share, because it does help my channel get into the algorithm. I would highly appreciate it. Um, now, what I wanted to talk about today was the importance of social status, right? Or why it's so important to individuals, right? Oh, uh, but before I get started, um, what's his name? Uh, to the subscriber, McDaniel. McDaniel, uh, I know you had asked me the last time to, uh, what's up with the picture in the background? Well, the picture always has to do with the theme of the of the topic, you know, of the video. Um, I know you told me that, well, some people don't understand that, you know, you should, you should explain it, you know. Um, so you're right. I, I you know, I, I automatically assumed, you know, and I shouldn't have, you know, assumed. Uh, you know, because assumptions are never facts. So you're right. Basically, this picture, um, what it symbolizes is that people rely too much on uh, social media, right? They rely on social media to pretty much, you know, give them their, give them their, their point of life, their whole reason for existence. You get what I mean? Is relied on, you know, on social media. Why that is? Because it's true. Um, you know, a lot of the world's problems nowadays, um, whether it has to do with educational, whether it has to do with violence, whether it has to do with uh, even uh, um, relationship-wise, you know, revolves all around social media. You see people don't want to uh, don't want to fight no more. They rather shoot and kill people now because, uh, you know, God forsake somebody records them taking the L. And, 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 you know, being made fun of on social media. So instead of risking the chance of that occurring, they rather just shoot and kill these people. That way that doesn't happen. Um, you know, um, same with relationship wise. You see these, you know, individuals, whether male or female, uh, you know, start, you know, talking to other people, you know, because, you know, showing that they're a Mac daddy, you know, you know, but their fellow peers will look up to them like, damn, this fool's got bitches or, or damn that that girl will be pulling in you know all kinds of foods, you know, the 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 praise that they'll get from everybody else, right, is the reason, uh, you know, and they could have you know a relationship and you know then they find out and the relationship falls apart just because you wanted to impress a bunch of people you don't even know, um, you know, so that, um educational because a lot of people put false information and people just believe it because it's on the internet that it must be true you know especially if it has a bunch of likes and positive comments then it must be true even though 3000 likes or 35000 likes is only a small percentage of the world's you know inhabited but we'll let you you know think what you want because people get lost in the illusion of the internet because all the likes and positive feedback uh, allows people to believe that they're right but in reality uh you know even if it is to the magnitude of 10,000 20,000 30,000 that's still a small percentage of you know um society as a matter of fact the smallest city could hold up to like i think it's like 4,000 people so if you got 30,000 uh likes that's only equivalent to maybe two cities so that's not you're not right just because two cities agree with you when you have all the whole entire planet because they like child is and now you don't look, you know, so high and mighty. So they'll get lost in the illusion. People don't people don't humble themselves. You know what I mean? They let all of this go straight to their heads, um, you know, because social media became such an importance um, to dictate everything, everything that people do, you know, from people say that they don't care about what people think about them. People say that they do what they want and they're in charge of their life. But in reality, they're not. You wear what you, what you wear because, you know, of what people might think about you. You know, God forbid you wear an off brand uh shoe or shirt you know like what brand is that it's not even a real brand you know you hear it all the time people clowning because something is not brand who cares bro i'll wear a non-brand watch i don't care bro you could have a rolex that's cool you know i'm able to tell timing you're able to tell timing it didn't cost me a fortune that's cool that you have an, a, a lamborghini that's that's right that's crazy you know that's feed me you know but my bucket and, and your nice fancy car, and if the destination is Olive Garden, we're both going to get there, bro. 
we're both going to get there. You're probably going to get there faster, but we're both going to get there, my boy. And it didn't cost me a fortune. Um, Jordans don't even cost that much to make, yet you have to pay so much money for it. You know what I mean? Because you're essentially paying for the name and the company, not for the actual material or or the actual, um, how can I say, um, quality. You're literally paying just those guys' salaries. That's all it is. Um, so my knockoff shoe, you know, will keep my feet warm and safe, just like your Jordans. So, and mine will probably last longer. Um, you know, I, I don't see the purpose of, of what individuals speak on. Um, like, I get it, you know, to be successful and, and everything like that. And, and that way you don't have to struggle in life. Yes, I perfectly understand that. But it's the over exaggeration or this illusion that that um, social media gives, right? Because people look at uh, celebrities and hold their word as gold. Even even in Chicano rap, just because somebody's a Chicano rapper, everything he says must be true, and, and that that people are just hating, and, and this guy can never tell a lie, and he has to be the you know same with rappers. You know what I mean? Like no, nah, no, nah. they have the they have their fans that just are willing to to um, say that everything that these people are saying is like like gold when it's not. They're humans. They make mistakes too, and they're only giving you their opinions. It doesn't mean that they're right. You know, but people can't think for themselves just because, you know, everybody else, you know, looks up to these people or bumps them and stuff like that. You want to be part of the crowd. You don't want to be in the outs looking in. So, yeah, you go with the flow. You know, that's why a lot of things that are said are just stuff that's being repeated, you know, but it's not actual facts. Just because your favorite rapper said something about an individual. Now you're going to say and repeat the same thing and call it facts just because this person said it. Well, that's ridiculous. You know, and it's why a lot of the lies get told nowadays or why people make fun of people or, you know, or, if you know, just chasing the illusion that Louis Vuitton and Versace, that it's the way to go and stuff like that. It's basic designs, bro. You know, it's not even it's not even nice, bro. Or well, in my opinion, well, at least not worth all that much money. You know what I mean? But see, people are not chasing the financial goal what they're chasing is the appraise of everybody right because if you get louis vuitton and versace now everyone could see that you have money and that's what you want you want the to be looked looked up to you know like damn this guy you know he made it he has money you want that praise and that attention you crave it people people to the to the illusion that it has given that people think if they get money that their problems will go away that other problems will go away when that's not how the world works and you've seen it time and time again from celebrities that committed suicide and whose lives are all fucked up, yet they're the richest people on the planet, yet they're unhappy. You see them time after time, celebrities, athletes, and all these people with money going to court, divorces, children being left everywhere, and this and that, and not this, and this and this and this and that. You know, they have a lot of problems and issues in their world. Their world is not peaches and cream. But everybody thinks because they're rich that they must live a perfect life with no errors and, 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 and no bullshit. When that's not really how it works. They have a lot of shit going on with themselves, too. It's kind of like the lie, too, that people say just because somebody's born rich, that that automatically means that that person doesn't have any problems. That's not how the world works. Yes, if his family has money, yeah, they'll live more successful than everybody else. But it doesn't mean that everything's peaches and cream. He could be neglected. He could be verbally abused. He could be uh, physically abused. He could be... You don't know what happens behind the closed doors to automatically assume just because their family has money, then they must have had a good childhood and had everything lovely. It's not how it works, bro. But people just repeat the lie over and over and over again. You know, it always occurs. Um, same with people talking about... Uh, Chicano rap is whack just because everybody says it or, um, um, you know, just from everything that people, people say, you know what I mean? They, uh, you know, they repeat, you know, what people say, like snitch, the word snitch when it's like, bro, you're not even gang related. Well, like, why are you calling people snitches? Like I'm telling you just cause their favorite people repeat the lies cause they're not, they're uneducated. And then now you're taking the word of an uneducated person or somebody who doesn't even know, uh, the, the overall, um, the overall topic or actually what occurred in that situation, but you're going to repeat that person's what he said and call it facts. <laughs> but because, you know, they get, you know, a high amount of volume on their social media and views or in likes, that's why you take their word for it. 
because if this many people stand with this person, then you rather stand with that because uh, you feel like that's the right thing based on, you know, the amount of views and likes and stuff like that. When that's not how the world works. We go based off of facts and actual real information, not about the per not not about the person's social status. And that is the lie that's being told time and time again with social media and the illusion that it gives to individuals. You know, because there's actual real information that's out there, right? Real knowledge that people could educate themselves on to know about a certain subject or topic or whatever. But instead, they rather listen to a post that somebody put on Instagram who has absolutely no education on the subject or the topic. But since that many people are viewing it and it's a page that's, you know, liked and popular and stuff like that, then you're going to take the word of that over the word of anything else, especially the youth, their favorite YouTuber or their favorite singer, whatever. They're going to stand with that person, even if that person's wrong, just because of the status quo. But that doesn't mean that it's right. People have to realize that just because you see it on the internet or on your favorite rapper or your favorite YouTuber doesn't mean that it's right. And you should always... Do your own investigation, educate yourself, and come to your own conclusion. Have your own mind. Think for yourself. Don't let others think for you. You can do it. You know what I mean? You have it in you. Never doubt yourself to think that, nah, like, what am I going to know? I'd rather take the word of this person. No, you know a lot, bro. You know, don't, don't kick yourself down. Um, you know, but, you know, I just wanted to talk about the, you know, the illusion that the internet gives, um, and how it really does hurt our society, um, overall in general, uh, whether, whatever it is, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, it could be from any multiple topics because believe it or not, there's multiple false information, liars and all of that. in every type in every walk of life from every religion from every age. It's not even just the prison genre, the gang genre. You have that shit occurring through all, everything, everyone. Because it has to do with um, human behavior and overall uh, psychological um, defects that affects our personal um, personas. You know, and people are just not aware of it. Um, you know, because it doesn't matter um, what you are, whether doctor, officer, gangster, lawyer, whatever, you are a human and you have um, and you have a personality to you. Right. So if something traumatic affected your personality now when you have a disorder, then it doesn't matter if you're a cop, lawyer, doctor, from the streets, whatever, you're going to make errors, you're going to have errors, or you're going to have these people mixed in within the flock who are looking just to connive, cheat, or, you know, you know, falsely lead people and shit like that. You know? It affects everybody. It's not, a, no one's immune. You know? Being a parent is more important than people think it is. Watch what your kids are watching. You know, supervise. Make sure they're not watching something inappropriate. Get into their lives. Know what's really going on. Know the people that they're watching and stuff like that to what kind of uh, messages they're putting out there. It's very important. You're not being too um, overprotective. You're not, you know, uh, smothering them. You're looking out, you know, because the youth don't know no better. You as somebody who's already lived life and is already with your wisdom because of everything that occurred and all the mistakes you have made, um, it's up to you to make sure that your child doesn't get corrupted like how you got corrupted. But if that's if your kid means something to you. But that's just my overall opinion. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments of Shadow. We out.